We're going to graph a rational function f of x is equal to 4x minus 2 over x plus 1. So for vertical asymptotes, we look at the denominator. We want to see when it equals 0. And so here we end up with a vertical asymptote at x is equal to negative 1. Then we go ahead and look for horizontal asymptotes. So in this case, we'd say, well, the degree of the numerator, we look at the degrees. So the degree of the numerator is 1. The degree of the denominator is also 1. So then the horizontal asymptote, which is y is equal to something, is going to be the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is 4, divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator, which is 1. So we end up with y is equal to 4. So for oblique asymptotes, there's none. And just looking at the degrees, so since the degree of the numerator and denominator were equal, that means there's no or oblique asymptote. So let's go ahead and graph all of our asymptotes. I'm going to use, let's say, blue. So x is equal to negative 1. There's a vertical line right here. So this is our one boundary point or boundary line. So that's x is equal to negative 1. So let's draw our horizontal asymptote, which is at y is equal to 4. So right here. So now we want to go ahead and try to plot some points. So let me just make a little table here. So x's and y's. So this, got, this time I'm going to start by trying to look at the, the horizontal asymptote first. So since we had a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 4, let me see if I can put y equals 4 into our function and if there's any x values that we um, get back as a result. So I'm just going to put that over to the side. So we get 4 is equal to 4x minus 2 over x plus 1. So I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by x plus 1. So if I multiply the left side, 4, by x plus 1, we get 4x plus 4. If I multiply the right side by x plus 1, we're going to have to multiply it through. Actually, we don't multiply it through, I'm sorry. It's because the x plus 1 cancels with this x plus 1, so we just get 4x minus 2. So you might see a problem here to start with because you, both of the x's are 4x. But let's say if we just kept going, if we tried to group the x's together, I might subtract that from both sides, which would lead us to have 4 is equal to negative 2 which is false, right? So that basically means there's no solution to that. So no solution. So that tells us that the y value can never be 4, and since that's exactly where our horizontal asymptote is, that means it's never going to cross. So in this case, there's nothing for that one. So then let's go and look at the other points. So we've got a vertical asymptote at x is equal to negative 1, so I basically want to choose something to the left of that x value and to the right, and then go ahead and plug it in. So let's say here, maybe we'll try x is equal to negative 2, and then we'll try x is equal to 0. And any points would work just as long as they're on either side of your vertical asymptote. So if we plug in x is equal to negative 2, which is plugging it into the x's of our function. So essentially you would have f of negative 2 is equal to 4 times negative 2 minus 2 divided by negative 2 plus 1. If you do that, you end up with 10. Same thing for 0. If you plug in 0, 4 times 0 minus 2 divided by 0 plus 1, you get negative 2. 
So let me plot these two points. So negative 2 and 10 would be up here, and 0, negative 2 would be right here. So now it's time to construct our graph. So I'll start with my first point. Um, really the only option I have is to go down and then curve around towards the horizontal asymptote. And I've run out of room here, but I know that on the right of that it's going to just go just going to go up towards that vertical asymptote. So then I start with the other point, same thing. So on the left side the only option is to go down towards the vertical asymptote. And on the right side it's to go up and level off with the horizontal asymptote. 